as Adventist youths of today, bearing your name in service, in schools or at work or at play. Use us for your glory in the church and in our communities as we wait for your second coming. May I invite everyone to please uh, bow our heads as we uh, come to uh, the mode of prayer. Let us pray. Our most gracious, loving God, our Heavenly Father, the author of life, the author of salvation, you have designed a better life to live in this world in spite of our sinfulness and this sinful world, you're the one who guided us and gives us inspiration to live well. Father God, we give honor and praise to your name. And we would like to thank you that your grace is sufficient enough in order to, for us to cover all our uh, sins and that your Righteousness be filled, and through your blood will be cleansed, oh Lord. Thank you for this opportunity to gather together for this one uh, specific uh, purpose of having this uh, CMT. Oh Lord, this orientation is um, very significant for us as leaders for the upgrading, for the progress of the work of services that we have, and for the development of our skills in leading your young people. Lord, at this point of time, we entrust our lives into you, and we entrust our program this evening that uh, through the guidance of your Holy Spirit, we'll be able to obtain and we'll be able to achieve our goals for the learning and for the improvement of our skills and our uh, uh, learning uh, process in leading your church. Thank you so much, Lord, for the assurance of your blessings to all our uh, lecturers, the one who will give us uh, uh, the orientations. May you bless them with wisdom and uh, with the inspiration of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your love and your care and for hearing and answering our prayers. This I ask in the loving name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.
Hello everyone and good evening and happy midweek to uh, each one of you and I'm very happy that you are here tonight and uh, that we'll be all learning together about the club ministries training and also about the update on the master guide curriculum. So please allow me share my screen uh, uh, to give my welcome remarks. Yeah, as you can see on the uh, on the screen, uh, you have here the logo of the Adventist Youth, a logo that you know beautifully depicts uh, edu education. The statement of Ellen White on education, page two hundred seventy one. So, with such an army of workers as our youth, rightly trained, might furnish. How soon the message of a crucified, recent, and soon coming Savior might be carried to the whole world. This is the reason why we are gathered here this, uh, this uh, evening. So for us to be rightly trained uh, for service. And uh, we can only do that uh, uh, by having our proper training uh, starting tonight. Okay. So, uh, we okay. Let's continue. So we have the five C's. I will go. Uh, and um, this is the vision of the uh, Adventist Youth Ministries in SSD. Okay, but before that, uh, I'd like to thank our beloved youth directors uh, of the Southern, under Southern Asia Pacific Division. So we have Pastor David Morado coming from the North Philippine Union Conference. We have Pastor Sangwan Cha from Pakistan Union section. We have Pastor Jess Lee Lantaya, South Philippine Union Conference. We have Pastor Tran uh, Koy uh, from uh, uh, Southeastern Asia Union Mission. We have Pastor Ronnie Wenas uh, from West Indonesia Union Mission. Pastor Von Jan Sanchez uh, from Central Philippine Union Conference. Teacher Farrell uh, uh, Gara, from Malaysia Union Mission, Pastor Mang uh, S. Tuang from Myanmar Union Mission, and we have Pastor Mariano da Cruz uh, from Timor Leste Mission, Pastor Didi Munto, East Indonesia Union Conference, Mr. Shohag uh, Toton uh, Boydia from Bangladesh Union Mission, we have Pastor Leo uh, Kingsley from Sri Lanka Mission, and Pastor Chris Rancho from Singapore Adventist conference. So uh, in the name of the youth ministries of the Southern Asia Pacific Division, we welcome you all and your delegates here in uh, on Zoom and on Facebook. So thank you very much, beloved youth directors, for your loving support. Without your support, uh, our programs will not uh, fly here in SSD. So this is our vision, collective vision, healthy young people who are enjoying a saving relationship with Christ loving the scriptures as their standard of living to reflect a Christ-like character, passionately serving the church and communities using their God-given spiritual gifts, and vigorously fulfilling the gospel commission in the power of the Holy Spirit. So we have the five C's, Christ, character, church, communities, and commission. So uh, we are now, uh, we have the I Will Go initiative, and in the I Will Go initiative, we have the spiritual growth, Servant leadership, discipleship, and mission. In the, in the spiritual growth, we have Christ and character. We have the church in the servant leadership, and then communities and commission in discipleship and mission. <clears throat> For this particular program, because I want you to see in every program that you do, uh, where is that program fall uh, in the five C's? So this master guide, this uh, CMT um, CMT orientation and launching falls in the letter C, a church, uh, servant leadership. We want our young people to be equipped in leading our church. So every time that you have a program, see to it that it is aligned to this I Will Go initiative and aligned to our five C's uh, um, initiative or vision that we have. So in here, you see the, uh, the wonderful chart that we have, the, and it has two legs. The other one is junior youth, and the other one is senior youth. For this program, we have the junior youth, master guide, 
and then adventurers, pathfinders. And this coming April, we'll have the senior youth uh, convention. So it will be here and the ambassadors and young, uh, young uh, adult, uh, young people. So, uh, and we want, this is the foundational saving relationship with Christ. And uh, I'll not discuss to you all the five C's, but uh, to emphasize this one, uh, I had this experience. Um, I'm, I'm wondering why uh, my computer was not uh, charging, although uh, I had uh, the, the uh, you know, the um, uh, charger, the, the charger closed, you know, it is close to my computer. So uh, although it is attached, but not fully attached, my, my computer was not charging. So uh, this experience led me to realize that it, it, it doesn't matter if we are close to God, you know, and we are not abiding in him. We, we can be in the church. We can be doing the work of God. But if we are not abiding in Jesus, if we are not attached to the power there, there will be no, uh, you know, there will be no charging that will happen. There will be no transformation. So, dear beloved master guides and MGTs, youth direct directors, uh, we should not be closer to God, but we should be abiding in Jesus. Okay, because if we don't abide in Him, and if there are things that separate us from God, uh, God cannot transform us fully. So we need to attach ourselves to abide in Jesus, to have a closer, uh, to have a, a, a saving relationship with Jesus Christ so uh, God can transform each one of us. So uh, beloved young people, so thank you very much and welcome you to the CMT uh, launching and orientation and enjoy. And uh, there will be question and answer later you can uh, start writing your question on the chat box because we will only accommodate those questions that are written on the chat box. So uh, before uh, the NPUC uh, um, Master Guide will offer a song, I'd like to call on Pastor David Murado, who will be introducing our next speaker. Thank you very much, Thank you very much Pastor Ron. Good evening to my fellow youth directors fellow master guide and youth leaders this evening. I was tasked by Pastor Ron to introduce our speaker. Even though he didn't, I didn't, I met him before. This is my first time to introduce our speaker. Our speaker is a pastor. His name is Pastor Nestor Osman. He works at the Center for Youth Evangelism at Address University. And he is, a, he is part of the staff organizing the next Believe the Promise International Pathfinder Company. He supports the youth and club ministries from the local church to the general conference. One of his projects was to coordinate the development of the new master guide curriculum and manual for the general conference and five club ministries training certifications. Pastor Nestor is originally from Argentina and came with his wife Gretel and his children Harold and Eric to study for a master in youth and young adult ministries. Currently, Pastor Nestor is studying for a doctorate degree in religious education. His passion is to organize backpacking and survival events with Master Guide. Fellow Master Guide, youth leaders, I'm glad to present to you the man of God, Pastor Nestor Osman. Okay, thank you very much for that special part. Very good, uh, very, yeah, powerful, you know. I will go. That's Important. That's the attitude we all need to have all the time in every ministry that, that we work in. Uh, good night or good evening for everyone. Uh, 6 a.m. here in Michigan, United States, uh, where I am right now. And uh, it is a pleasure for me to share this time with you. 
Uh, thank you very much for the invitation. And hopefully I will uh, be clear with the presentation and answer as many questions as possible about the club ministry training uh, program that the general conference just uh, made available for all the divisions in the world. Um, I have a presentation that I would like to share and uh, and it depends on the time that we have, we can go deeper in each of the club ministry training certifications or we can answer questions also. Okay, so I don't know if we will have someone uh, managing the questions in the chat. I guess uh, David will, will do it. Yes, yes, we have, we have. Thank you very much. So I will share my screen now. So club ministry training. This is uh, the last program uh, developed by General Conference. I've been the coordinator for this development. Uh, we work in, in a team um, using material that already existed and put it together. These are the five certifications that we have. I will explain a little bit more detail later about this, but these are workshop resources for presenters. Club Ministries Training is a curriculum framework that provides in deep training for club staff in a specific role. This is basically what it is. And I will tell you what is not what is not in a few minutes. The certifications are designed to be completed with, within one year. We call it certifications because after you complete the eight workshops, you will receive a certificate. Okay. Uh, the certification has designed to be uh, completed within one year and uh, are meant to equip leaders of all varieties for the ministries in which they serve. Uh, this is uh, the first thing that I want to clarify. The CMT Club Ministry Training Certificate are not for everybody. Le let me explain. If you are a club director, you should take CMT director, uh, but you don't need to take CMT treasurer, for example, or CMT counselor. It's not like a, a collection that you have to collect the five of them. The idea is to train you in the role you are um, filling in your club, in the role that you are taking in your club, the position you are covering. So if you just begin, there will be a CMT for you. If you are uh, with more experience, there will be a specific CMT for you. If you are a counselor, if you are a treasurer, a secretary, if you are a, a director, uh, we recommend you to be specific on that one. Uh, so you grow in that position, you learn better how to, uh, how to work in that position. And uh, in that way, yeah, you serve better. They are not, levels of investiture. This is very important, people. Uh, there are not levels of investiture achievements such as some being friends or guides, but rather opportunities for individuals to learn more about being an effective director, instructor, counselor, etc. Yes, the higher investiture, as you know, in, uh, in club ministry is the master guy investiture. That's the final and last investiture that you can achieve. And, uh, and these uh, CMT certifications are not another investiture. That's just to clarify. This is an improvement in the knowledge of leadership that you will have uh, and is targeting specific areas in, in club ministry. Certifications are earned by attending workshops working with a mentor, doing field work, and preparing a documentation portfolio. So uh, workshops are the five, uh, the eight sections of a certification in this case, working with a mentor. That's something uh, that we are, I mean, we have been working with mentors like for many years, but now it is official. When introducing the 
the position of the mentor for each master guide. What do you uh, what do you mean by that? For example, if you are using the new master guide curriculum uh, from general conference or not, that's a decision for each division and then the adaptation. You will see that in a prerequisite, you will have an interview with a potential mentor that will be approved by the conference, a master guide with experience that will ask you a simple question. Why do you want to be a master guide? And that's a very important question that sometimes we don't ask. Sometimes we want to be a master guide for the wrong, uh, for the wrong reason. And uh, a mentor will help you to lead your ministry, your leadership in master guide from the very beginning and until the end. Uh, well, these uh, certifications are also connected to, um, to mentors. Doing field work, you will need to do some practice uh, for each certification and preparing a documentation portfolio. This is like in the master guide curriculum, you will have to complete the field work, uh, attend all the workshops and present a portfolio. Of course, it will not be as big as the portfolio for uh, uh, master guide investiture, but you will have to, to prepare something, okay? Uh, for approval. CMT is based on the Adventist Youth Ministry Training Certification developed by the North American Division. To be fair, these have been tested, pilot tested before, and uh, uh, we took what they have in North American Division and we improved it and, uh, and made it available and adapted for the General Conference uh, Division. So yeah, but there is the origin of that. For divisions, I would like to recognize, and this is important too, leaders that achieve these certifications, a pin with the, uh, with the achieved certification could be included in the official stash. This is optional. This is, um, each division had to take the decision how to do this. But you know, in club ministry, we like to recognize um, or activities or skills by uh, using a pin or a medal or something. Well, the recommendation is to use it in the official stash. Upon completion of the required workshop, uh, the participants could be eligible to receive an email pin and certificate of completion. Okay, so uh, that is optional. And I will quote, uh, each division is different. You know, I'm from South American division and working currently in North American division and, uh, and I serve as missionary in Trans-European division. And uh, each, dif each division is different. But I remember um, a quote from the former Pathfinder director for the General Conference, Jonathan Tejel, Pastor Jonathan Tejel, I guess some of you remember him. He was in front of a campaign in South America, 35,000 people. And he said this, we are not Christmas trees. We are servants of God. So we will work and we can focus on the pins, but please don't make the pins the main goal of the Club Ministry Training Certification Certificate. You need to uh, focus on the mission, the role that we have in safe kids uh, through club, club ministry, and, uh, and that's our main target or main goal for what we do. The pins will be a consequence uh, of our effort, of our training, but please don't do this. Don't take this certificate for the pin. Do it for your mission and for your ministry. These are more notes, please pay attention to this. The ministry training certifications are replacing the Pathfinder Leadership Award, which is this one in the left, and the Advanced Pathfinder Leadership Award, also known as Pathfinder Instructor Award, which is the one in the right. Uh, 
Uh, what happened with these two? Through the years, there have been a, a misunderstanding. Uh, I have, by the way, I have this, the the second one. Uh, but through the years, there have been a, been a, a little bit of misunderstanding with this, believing that these were um, investitures. These two are not investitures. These two are just recognition of a completion of a uh, of a seminary workshop, a certificate of leadership. That's very important. You are not more master guide because you have this. Uh, you are a master guide that is responsible and keep training and learning because all the time we have things to learn. And uh, this is a recognition for that, but it is not an investiture. The high investiture is being the master guide investiture. Receiving a CMT pin is not considered investiture, but rather awarding a certificate. Um, the high investiture, as I mentioned before, CMT certifications are connected to a club role or position, meaning that there is no point to achieve achieve them all unless you are the only leader in a club okay sometimes happen there are small clubs with only one leader and that leader needs to learn how to be the director how to be the treasurer how to be the secretary the counselor and complete all the roles together the instructor uh in that case maybe you will need to complete all of them it will take you uh, at least five years um, but other than that, if you are in a big club, you don't need to complete all this. Uh, it is uh, unnecessary. Okay. If you have someone in that role, for example, if you are the director, take director. If you have a secretary, ask the secretary to take the secretary CMT and so on. Uh, CMT certifications are intended for all members of a team. Correct. So let me talk briefly about each one of the certifications. I will slightly introduce them, and then we can go deeper, or we can answer, uh, we can stop to answer questions, and then we we'll go deeper. CMT Pathfinder Basic Staff Training. This is the basic of the basic. If you are new in the Adventist Church, if you are new in Pathfinder Ministry, uh, this is something that you had to consider from the very beginning, because the first uh, workshop will be about history. So you understand the structure, history and the structure of uh, Pathfinder Ministry. So you will understand where we are coming from, where we are going, and how do we work together, you know, adventures, Pathfinders, Master Guide. Uh, so this is the basic. You don't need to be a Master Guide to take this one. If you have a a new it depends of the of the regular classes you have for pathfinders but if you have a new member a new volunteer i will recommend for everybody to take basic staff training because it will cover the basics of uh, uh, to understand pathfinder that will be my case i became adventist with 20 years old and uh, i didn't understand what pathfinder was about so this would be a, a nice start for me in back in the time. But we didn't have this. CMT Pathfinder Club Counselor. This is the longest uh, certificate, the CMT, um, because we strongly believe that the one of the most important leaders in a club is the counselor because he's the, the leader that has direct contact with the Pathfinder. The one-on-one -on -one is the mentor of the Pathfinder directly. The, the club director is important, but the club director will work with counselors and counselors will work with Pathfinder. Uh, a very good material, a lot to learn. Uh, by the way, let me uh, explain a little bit because we all had um, training, um, leadership training prepared, you know, programs and and workshops prepare. We didn't start with this, but what this is providing is basically at least three pages 
for each workshop to have a material to start. That doesn't mean that you have to read every line that is in there. No, this is, if you don't have uh, access to material, this is a material that you can use as a guideline. And of course, you need to adapt it to your context, to your culture, to the reality of your local area, club, conference, union, and, uh, and use it in that way. This is not just read what you have. No, it's just information, very useful, good tools uh, available for you. So you can take that, adapt it to your, to your area, and, uh, and teach that. CMT Pathfinder Club Instructor. This is uh, shorter than the others, but it is also targeted for instructors, for people that might or might not be permanent members of the club, and, and how to teach, how to uh, translate their knowledge to the kids in different ages, how to adapt it. Um, new generations, they learn each time less and less through um, the classical instruction, I'm the professor and you sit down and listen for two hours. Uh, they learn more with uh, experience and that's something that we need to consider. And this uh, CMT will cover that, will include uh, topics about that and the different stage in life for kids. So we can adapt for each, for each class. Pathfinder uh, Club Secretary Treasurer. This will be the one with more adaptations needed because every division, every union is different. <clears throat> in this, uh, and pay attention directors, in this, you will have to consult the local conference about, for example, uh, insurance, about, you know, different rules how to uh, the law in the local country and how to adapt all these permissions, for example, that the parents need to sign to participate in club, ministry, um, and different topics that are related to the law that you have to understand yeah, and adapt for your uh, conference, your union, okay? And finally, uh, club ministry training pathfinder club director. Uh, this is, as you understand, the, the CMT specific for directors that will teach you what no other CMT will teach you and uh, that you will not use if you are a counselor. You have to use it if you are a director will teach you how to work with staff, how to manage different topics that are related to club director. Um, Christian leadership, and this is important. Uh, we, I know that we all use uniform, and I'm proud of uniform, uh, but we have to remember that we are an army of God. We are the army of God, and we have to work for him. Uh, we have a message to share, and that's our main goal. Yeah, club ministry doesn't exist to entertain people. Um, or to learn how to start the fire, even if I love that, you know, fire. Uh, but that ministry exists to uh, share the gospel of God to all the world in my generation. So you have to keep that in mind. Pathfinder Club Director will remind you that, okay? And that's it. That's it for now. I have more information to share, but I would like to uh, address the first question. So we can, uh, we can, yeah, we will not leave everything to the end. We will have uh, some questions now. David. Okay. We will now give the time to Master Guy Oswald for Q&A, right? Yeah. It, it, we will do a Q&A now, and then I will continue to share more okay. information if, if you want. Uh, the goal for this presentation is not to, to read all the... We brought 340 pages. So I don't think we will have time for those 340 pages. And, uh, but we will cover the highlights, uh, okay. for each, uh, for each TMT certificate. Okay. Master Gaia Osvald, it's your turn now. Thank you, Pastor Nesto, for your, uh, uh, 
clear presentation. So we have uh, some pre uh, pre meetings uh, questions that we've collected. So I'll go through uh, probably four slides. Then you can uh, answer. Then uh, after that we can continue with the lecture. So the first question comes from Master Nico from West Java Conference from Indonesia, Master Nestor. So the question is, since CMT is replacing PLA and P PIA, how about the patches of PLA, PIA, PIA at our uniform? Can it still be there or need to be changed with the Pathfinder world or the existing ones? And also for the master guides that already took the PLA or PIA, is it still is it equivalent to the Pathfinder Club Instructor certification or should then we retake the course as the replacement of PIA and PLA? You can just uh, directly answer the question, Pastor. Uh, as you might know, let me use an example for this. You have the, the first aid owner. The first aid owner has a characteristic that every two years um, it expires. So you have to take it again because you have to be uh, updated all the time with the uh, first aid owner. Well, in training and in leadership, it will be the same. I did PLA and PIA more than 10 years ago, probably more than 15 years ago, and it was really good for the moment and worked really well, but then you had to learn new things that are coming, especially now after the pandemic. Many things changed in, in the normal work that we had and many, many emphasis. Also, we have uh, new generations coming that are have different characteristics. And I will recommend um, the I will recommend to take the CMT, the new uh, certificate, to keep updated your knowledge about leadership. Regarding the uniform, that's something for the division to decide. If you ask me, I will say keep it in your uniform. The patch is not a problem. You earn it. And uh, but probably that will not be available anymore in the future uh, because CMT is taking the place of those two. I don't know if I answered your question. Yes, yes, Pastor. So, Master Guy Nico, Kaniko, it was uh, answered. So, we go to the next question, save our time. Uh, this is uh, regarding the, uh, well, this is actually something that also will need to be uh, discussed uh, during uh, this. Uh, meeting but had been asked earlier. This is the structure of the master guide, master guide and master guide in training within the Adventist Youth Ministry. Sometimes there are confusions since Pathfinder Club is only up to 15 years of age, while starting master guide will be 16. So the question whether we should have the master guide club, sorry, repeat, we should have master guide clubs uh, similar to NAD club ministries to accommodate invested master guide or master guide in training. So this was asked by master guide Roy from East Kalimantan mission from West Indonesian Union mission. Okay, I uh, I can tell about master guide club because I'm the one that brought the the first master guide club administrative manual for NAD that was approved. And because of that, we have master guide club officially in NAD. Um, the idea is for the division to take. It's not my decision, of course. I will tell you my experience. I've been working with Master Guide, uh, Master Guide Club for several years, more than 20 years now. And uh, we don't use Master Guide Club for Master Guide Invested. Uh, we use Master Guide Club as a training support group for candidates for Master Guide. So once you are invested, you go back to Pathfinders, you go back to Adventures, and you keep working, but you only stay in Master Guide Club if you are an instructor, a director, uh, or a staff, a leader in that, in that club. That's what we do in NAD and how we have that, that manual. Uh, so because we want all Master Guide invested working in the field, okay? Master Guide Nestor. Can I have a follow up on that? So Absolute, you have absolutely you have master guide uh, club for those who are active in master guide ministry. 
meaning uh, those who are serving uh, clubs, pathfinders, and adventurers. So if they are not serving, in, uh, in they are not active in the field, uh, they are not member of Master Guide Club. Did I get that uh, right? Not in North American Division. That's not officially how it works. The only members for Master Guide Club are the candidates to be Master Guide. And mm -hmm. uh, some conference, some union here can decide something different, but officially from the division, the Master Guide Club, let, let's think in this way. If you want to be a teacher, you go to the university and then you go to the classroom. If you want to be a pastor, you go to the seminary and then you go to the church. If you want to be a master guide, which is a teacher and a pastor together, you go to master guide club and then you go to the club. That's uh, how it, it is said, the, the organization for master guide club, because this is a problem. And this is a discussion that we had uh, through the years that there are some clubs that gather all the master guides together and they don't serve the church mm -hmm. because it is more like a social group but in this way the master guide club it is like a cycle in one two years you complete the training you create uh, you know connections community complete the training and you're launched to serve to serve to serve to serve and and you keep the master guide active that's the behind i'm not saying that you have to do it in that way I'm just explain, explaining how do we do in, in NAD with yeah. this uh, Master Guide Club manual that, that I brought. Okay. Um, uh, yes, Pastor. Okay, Master Guide as well. No. Uh, yes, all right. Yeah. Thank you, uh, uh, Pastor Nestor. Uh, last uh, two questions for this uh, first part from Master Guide Fernando. Uh, the existing materials that we've received so far for this uh, CMT are, are for the Pathfinder basic staff training. Will their materials for the adventure basic staff training available or if uh, it will be available for uh, division level when it would be uh, ready for, uh, for clubs to uh, start getting those materials? That will be a question for Pastor Ron, I guess. Okay. Yeah, let, let me just... So the yes, question is, so the existing materials are Pathfinders already. So at the moment, what we've received so far are for the Pathfinders uh, club training. Yeah. So uh, would there be the adventure club training materials as well? To we be have, readily? Yeah, yeah, we have already the uh, ah, okay. adventure, adventure um, uh, what do you call that? Adventure. Uh, Basic stuff training. Adventure, yeah, tra uh, meaning adventure um, curriculum that is sent to us and yeah so we can have that uh, okay adventure. okay yeah, uh, yeah. After your questions uh, I have still some questions that are uh, directly sent to me yeah. yes uh, this is the last the last one from uh, from the uh, person in the zoom for the first part past pastor Nestor um, I'll, I'll read it down. Um, does it mean that a certain master guide can only take can only have one certification from the five? What if I want to take all the certifications because I want to be prepared for whatever position in the club I could be called for? So if I understand correctly, he will be taking um, all certification at one time uh, so that he can be prepared for uh, any position over in, in the club. Pastor Nestor? Uh, no problem. I mean, it is not forbidden to take all the certification. It's just, uh, uh, and the reason that he or she is stating is, is really good. It is just that, um, you know, we like our leaders to be as professional as possible and yes. specific and good as possible. Because if you are good for everything, sometimes you are not good for nothing. So the idea is, uh, so I, I'm not, please don't ask me to organize games, for example. I can take you to the mountain, to the jungle, don't ask me to organize games because I have no clue how to do it. And I'm not a good preacher, so yeah. I, don't ask me to preach. Uh, but uh, I can do leadership and I can teach. So 
each one has a skills and God gave us those skills and we had to answer to those skills. Those are our responsibility. And uh, of course, everybody can take the five, but uh, yeah, the idea is for you to be the best club director that there is or the best uh, counselor that there is while you are. And there are always time because when you get to the time to be a director, you will have mm -hmm. the opportunity to complete that while you are in the role and you will understand it much better than if you take it now and you practice in 10 years or five years. That is the only logic. But if you want to take the five, uh, not a problem. I, I suggest to take them when you are in that role. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me add something, uh, Masaget Nestor, about that. Uh, here, uh, I think uh, the, the essence of uh, the training is to strengthen the club. So uh, when we we'll, uh, in NPUC, yeah, in, with Pastor Dave, um, you know, they need to have at least in a club, one should be taking the, uh, uh, the uh, club director, treasurer, and secretary, and also instructor. So you are strengthening the club. So I think uh, you're right. I agree with you that uh, to take all would not uh, make you, you uh, expert of everything. I think uh, sharing expertise and allowing others to be trained in a specific role uh, is, should be the, 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 the strategy that should be uh, you know, taken. Uh, let me just uh, add this. Um, hello, Pastor. Who will conduct the training? Yeah, who will conduct the training, uh, Master Ged Nestor? The same people that have been conducting training uh, in the last year. Uh, it will be the area coordinator, the conference youth director, or the local leader. Uh, they will receive the approval from the conference, receive the material, read it, and adapt it in a PowerPoint that will match the needs of the local, uh, the local area. Always keep in mind that this is not, I mean, it is not possible to create something that will work perfectly in every detail for all the countries in the world. So that's why you have to consider to adapt all the information, starting with the language, for example, uh, to translate it to your local language. That yes. will be important. Yeah. And also considering, I, uh, I use an English as, neutral as possible because English is not my first language. So I avoid every kind of, you know, uh, expressions that are very local for the United States. Those are not there at all. And, uh, and it should be easy to translate this, this English to your local language also. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, in our uh, in SSD, uh, we are um, you know, allowing the unions to uh, train because we have you know uh, language barriers so like for example in NPUC there will be training uh, for this uh, one union it will be led by unions and the speaker should be because as of now no one is uh, certified yet in the CMT because this is very new so uh, like for example uh, for the counselor training we will be uh, tapping the counselor you know the, a, a, a counselor uh, uh, from, for example, Adventist University of the Philippines to train uh, the counselors, you know, those who will be trained in the certification. So, yeah, uh, in, in the, the same is true for, for example, SAUM, MAUM. So tap someone who really is an expert in counseling. So you can have a really certi wonderful certification uh, for the CMT. Yeah, so we are empowering unions. Yeah, pass, uh, yeah, Master Goodness. For, for example, for a union, I, I, I understand that, for example, what we do here in the Lake Union is we teach the six tracks in parallel, and the yeah. six tracks will be the, the leadership training for Master Guide for the investiture, mm -hmm. uh, which are the workshops that are included in the Master Guide curriculum. So in that case, uh, you go to the track that match your position or your stage in the, the in the achievement of master, master guy investiture, and uh, and yes, basically there they, there is the option for everybody. We teach it two times a year, and I make it available for every for everybody. 
Uh, Master Ged Nestor, there is another question. Uh, I think this is uh, a valid question from Master Ged Nelson Acosta. Is CMT basic stop training replaces the Pathfinder basic stop training? So we have Pathfinder. CMT. Yeah, continue. No, CM, uh, CMT uh, is new. Um, Pathfinder basic stop training is part of CMT. Uh, it is uh, CMT is a framework and um, Pathfinder basic staff training is inside like a uh, director training, like a uh, counselor training. So, so CMT is the, the, the framework for the, the certification. So meaning if they have taken the Pathfinder basic step, uh, uh, staff training, if they are done with it, uh, does it mean that it will be uh, already uh, can be uh, taken as basic stop training for CMT? Uh, I don't think so. Basically because uh, Pathfinder basic staff training, if you already took it, it's because you did the North American division version uh, and we improved that version okay. very much. And uh, you will find the topics, some of the topics will be similar, uh, but we did an, an upgrade and an update of AYMT, this uh, North American division now is working to adapt this to the local division okay. context. So uh, for example, one of the examples I can give you, we have been working for with the four uh, temperaments and uh, we ask different professionals in, uh, in human uh, behavior, in Adventist professionals, about the topic and they said, well, that we don't use that after uh, for the last 50 years. So, <laughs> so you should update that. Um, we ask consensus of what should be the, the best way to measure that, you know, to understand the temperament. And we include those tools in, in the new CMT. Those are not in the AYMT. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Master Gausbat, do you have still question? With you yes but i think pastor nestor will continue first then we'll come up with uh, some questions later on okay i have eight minutes i don't know if we have time to more presentation but i have until uh the end yeah. of the hour here is seven over yeah. there it will be eight i think yeah you can continue please uh, yeah okay no problem so what i want to share really quick is uh the material itself, this is uh, one of the final drafts. This is not uh, the final draft, so there are some uh, errors here, but this is basically the manual that we prepare. The table of content, the five certificates. This is part of the material. Yeah, for you to get familiar, I just read this uh, to the left. Pathfinder basic staff training will include purpose and history of uh, Pathfinder, club organization, programming and planning, club outreach, uh, ceremonies and drill, uh, developmental growth, uh, introduction to teaching, medical risk management and child safety issues, and uh, required field work and recognition of completion. These are the eight workshops that we are including for uh, for Pathfinder basic stuff. As you can see, these are the basic of the basic. You know, it's like the introduction to the club. Uh, this is the, the history of Pathfinders. We updated this history. We work with two historians, Adventist historians for this. Let me go for the next one. We have some samples of activities. We review everything. And the most important, nobody works alone on this. We have a, a team working, which is very important when you develop material, uh, understanding different ages. And here, as you can see, for example, child protection plan resources. This is a sample that the legal department of the division or, or the union should uh, read and consider in order to, uh, to adapt it to the local law. 
Okay, then we have a club counselor. As we mentioned before, this includes Pathfinder Club Outreach, which is very important for us. The Pathfinder Club organization, the counselor support team, counselor responsibility, developmental growth, discipline, and discipline. Sometimes we confuse discipline and discipline, and we believe that discipline is a punishment for bad behavior. But discipline is much more than that. It is basically self-dominion. And discipline is also connected to that. And you will love how it is connected. The counselor's relationship to the pathfinder, safety and the counselor. That's very important. Accidents happen. Spiritual application in nature. That's also very important. The first book of God was nature. And then the required field work. Just uh, please, please stop me when uh, you want to address questions, okay? No problem at all. I will keep going until you stop me. Uh, let me go more. As you see, there are several pages here. The club instructor. We are addressing here styles of instruction, understanding learning styles, not everybody learning the same way. And we had to be aware of that. Working with children with special needs. This is new people. Uh, we have been neglecting uh, for many, uh, many times uh, training for uh, leaders that would like to work or they, that they have uh, children with special needs in their club. And that's why we are including this. This is important people. We cannot just make activities for uh, kids that are super healthy and normal. Sometimes we have different conditions and uh, and we have to address that. Teaching Christian yeah. values. Yes. Must I get that, sir? Yeah, someone is asking, yeah. is there a sample uh, portfolio that Master Guide Nestor can show? Uh, portfolio regarding this, yeah, a sample. No, we have a, a sample portfolio, I believe for um, master guide curriculum, but not for the CMT because the portfolio for the CMT is very simple. It is basically a record of what you are doing. It's not complicated. Different is the master guide curriculum, which is a long portfolio, a huge portfolio, but for CMT, you don't need so much. Okay, okay. Can you also send to us a, a sample of that? Yeah, I, I think you have also a checklist on this uh, uh, later on with regard to the uh, master guide curriculum but that is another another thing yeah yeah please continue uh, master guide yes, sir. sure no problem uh, uh working with children special needs teaching christian values teaching investiture achievement intent and our organization organization is very important sometimes we focus on on the class but we forget how to organize a class and, uh, and we are, as I mentioned before, as instructors, as uh, counselors, we are part pastors and part teachers. So we had to learn how to organize a, a class. Practical application for teaching investiture achievement. So you know, what do you, what do you do with what you know? That's important also. And teaching honors. Finally, instruction to decide discipline. So you are the instructor now, you have to teach discipline to others. Let me really quick because my time is almost over. Um, Pathfinder Club Secretary and Treasurer, this is something that you need to adapt in your local field, the church field. Reports, records, and merit system. Every conference has a different Report. a different structure for this. Annual calendar development, health and medical permission, volunteer and vehicle driver. That's important too. Every country will have a different law on that. Introduction of, to budgeting, club finances, finances, introduction to fundraising. Yeah, we all need money, you know, to travel to a country. Practical communication, which is basically 
the most important thing for a secretary how to communicate with parents, with kids, with leaders. And these are the ones that we for this TMT. Finally, club director. And with this, I finish. Introduction to leadership skills, the conference and your local church board. This is very important, people. Sometimes the director don't know that there is a youth director in the conference that is there to support them. And that connection needs to be strongly established. And, uh, and we are talking about that. Introduction to recruiting, screening, and training staff uh, with um, children abuse during the year. Uh, especially that's something that Boy Scouts in America suffer very much. Uh, we had to, to be aware of that and open the eyes before we accept a, a, a volunteer to work in our club. Survey of camping and camp out planning, teaching investiture achievement, club finances, because the director needs to be aware of that. Not everything in the shoulders of the treasurer. Introduction to discipline, uh, working and communicating with parents, specifically with parents. Uh, a very good communication is the key for a very good relationship with parents. Okay. And this is it. That was a super fast uh, <laughs> highlight of the five CMT. My time is over. I don't know if we had time for more questions. I'm here to answer. Uh, yeah, or or to pray for you and and keep going with the next presenter. It's up to you. So we'll we'll uh, have Master Get Osbald. Do you have still questions? Yes. Uh, very quick, uh, Pastor Nestor. It's uh, it's a very uh, true presentation. Um, just uh, three last questions that I'd like to uh, read uh, from the uh, audience. The first one is from Master Guide or uh, candidate Master Guide Tasha Bayer from MIT. Can you work on the certifications while you are in the role? For example, if I am the club director and I'm taking the certification of director, or is it being recommended that you get the certification before you accept a role, Pastor Nestor? You are right in both both times. I mean, the idea would be for you to take the certification first and then practice the role. But there is also value in practice the role first and then take the certification because you will know what questions to ask. So it depends. If you can take it before, praise the Lord. I will recommend uh, if you will be a director for many years to take it again because with the experience you learn uh, and you get, you understand better the position, you understand that there are problems and you will be able to ask questions with knowledge uh, during the CMT certification. So both are right, basically. Okay, I saw Master Gaitesha is uh, putting her uh, thumbnail, so it is very well answered. Next one from Master Guide Ramiresh uh, Halomoan. Uh, quite uh, long for a reading, but I'll uh, read it out. Could you please explain briefly what are the main points that differentiate between AYMT and CMT? Will CMT replacing AYMT in the near future? Will CMT be one of the requirements for club members to be a master guide? Since previously AYMT or ABSTC and PBSTC is one of the requirements for club members to be a master guide. Uh, there are okay. three or four questions in, in a row. No problem, no problem, we can address them. AYMT, as far as I know, only is available for the North American division. Uh, we don't have it in South America. Uh, I know they announced it, but uh, that didn't happen until now with CMT. So uh, North American Division will keep working with AYMT because uh, they have a different definition of Master Guide. Master Guide not only serves club ministry, but also youth in North America. So they keep it AYMT. CMT will not replace AYMT, but CMT will be adapted to become AYMT uh, for North American division, okay? Uh, is CMT one of the requirements for club members to be a master guide? In the new curriculum we develop for, uh, for general conference, it is basic staff training. Uh, it is one of the requirements. I know every division needs to take decisions about this, uh, but in that curriculum, it is a requirement, uh, basic staff not the rest. The rest you can take them or not, 
it depends on your position. Uh, since we is one of the requirements for club member, yeah. Yeah, basically okay. that's, that's the answer. Okay, thank you, Pastor Ron. Uh, sorry, Pastor Nestor. Uh, the last one um, from Master Ronald uh, Mendiola from TAM. Is there a certification also for adventurer, instructor, counselor, etc.? I know they, there are AYMT certification for adventures, and I know that uh, Pastor Andres Peralta from General Conference has been working on that. To be honest, I I'm not in that project. I have been focused on master guides, which is my expertise. Uh, my wife works with uh, adventures and my kids are in adventures, but we haven't worked on adventures. Uh, probably he has a different team, uh, Pastor Andres Peralta working on this, but I don't have an answer, I'm, I'm afraid, for that question because, uh, yeah, I'm not working with adventures at this point. Okay. Hopefully, Master Guy Ronald can accept this uh, statement. Yeah, thank you. So that's all, Pastor Nestor, for the uh, questions that have been collected to now. I'll return the control to Pastor Ron. Okay, Master Guy Nestor, we really appreciate your time. Uh, I know there are so many questions that uh, our young people, our Master Guys, would like to uh, ask, but uh, we don't have much time. But uh, we would like to uh, um, to um, give you our certificate of appreciation. So the Southern Asia Pacific Division Adventist Ministries uh, proudly presents this certificate of appreciation to Master Guide Nestor Osman for sharing his expert, uh, ex uh, his precious time and expertise to orient the youth directors and master guides of the Southern Asia Pacific Division on club ministries training and master guide curriculum. Given this 23rd of uh, February 22 during the CMT orientation and launching, signed by your truly, Master Guide Ron Hanibago and Master Guide Arn Galbo, the SSD Master Guide Coordinator. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the invitation at your service. If you have more questions or, or you want me to present anything else, just let me know and I will be here with you, happy to, to serve. Okay? Thank you very much. Yeah, if you can still be around, it's okay, but uh, we don't know your time now. <laughs> okay, uh, probably in other question and answer, we can have you uh, still. Okay, thank you very much, Master Gerard. You're welcome. Bye-bye.